industry and also holding different portfolios as a national bureau member of ISKCON India, chairman for the DOT care community and international governing body commissioner, apex body of ISKCON. So, so many sir, wonderful services Pro has offered. And uh, we are very fortunate to hear today from Srimad Bhagatam, 10th Canto, Chapter 80, Verse 40. Hare Krishna, brother. You can unmute, Prozi. My voice is clear now? No, now it's clear, bro. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare. Is okay? Yes. <coughs> Namabo, Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prishtaya, Bhutale, Shimate, Bhaktivedanta, Swami Nithinamani. Namaste, Saraswati, Gauravani, Pichani, Nirvishesha, Shunyavadi, Pasya, the Deshtan. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Pranityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shiva Sri Gaurabhaktarunda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Prabhupada Ki Chai Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj Bro Ki Chai Very happy to meet all the devotees of Ujjain In fact I wanted to come there and take your association Somehow, due to this corona, COVID, we're all stuck up, we cannot move freely, that is the reason. Others, I would have been very happy to come there and meet all of you and take your association because Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj, very close to me. I got lot, lots and lots of blessings from Maharaj. So there's no translation, right, Prabhu? Uh, translation is there. Okay, then please God, continue. Uh, Brother, you can speak. That's on different channel, and that is happening differently. So you can continue your talk. I can speak continuously, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Everybody, both side mics on. Onto, sabko mute kariye na please. Side mics, both side mics on. Yes, bro. You can unmute yourself, and you can. Okay. Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj, before the last program in India was in Tirupati, he came for GBC College. And he was here, he gave wonderful lectures for the students of GBC College. And also he gave Bhagavatam class. And I had lots of personal association with Maharaj. Then he came to my home for lunch. Myself and Maharaj, we sat together, had prasadam. Maharaj gave a lot of, is a wonderful association to me and to my family, including my granddaughter. He was playing with my granddaughter for some time. Then he said, I'm leaving, please come to Ujjayi. So invitation from Maharaj is pending. I have to come. I have to follow his instruction. Sometime come there and take your association. And remember Maharaj. When you hosted a GBC meeting, how wonderful it was. You all, his heart was so big, accommodating everybody, treating everybody so nicely. Such a nice, wonderful arrangement Maharaj made. All glories to Maharaj. All glories to Maharaj's service. Hare Krishna. So, very nice verse has been selected. I don't know who selected it. Beautiful verses, three verses they sent me. That is from uh, Canto 10, Chapter 80, Text 40, 41, and 42. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Okay. Aho he putraka yuyam asma datte ti dukkati haam atmave praninam prestas tam anadritya mat paraha. Translation by Shla Prabhupada. For this verse, there is no purport. Sandipani said, O oh, my children, 
You have suffered so much for my sake. The body is most important, most dear to every living creature. But you are so dedicated to me that you completely disregarded your own comfort. We go with the verse number 2. I mean 41. Yetadivihi satchishyahai kartavyam guru nishkratam yadvai vishuddha bhavena sarvata atmapanam guru Translation Sandipani said, Oh my children, this is verse number two. This indeed is a duty of all true disciples to repay the debt to the spiritual master by offering him with pure hearts their wealth and even their very lives. Purpose. One engages one's body to realize one's purposes. The body is also the basis of the mental conception of I, while one's fortune is the basis of the conception of mind. Thus, by offering everything to the spiritual master, one realizes oneself to be an eternal servant of the Lord. The spiritual master does not exploit the disciple, but rather engages him fully in Krishna consciousness for the disciple's eternal benefit. Text number 42. Tushtohambo dhija seshtaha Satya santu manorataha Chandasmi ayata yamini Bhavantiha paratrasha Translation Vaishla Prabhupada Disciples and You boys are first class brahmas And I am satisfied with you May all your desires be fulfilled and may the Vedic mantras you have learned never lose their meaning for you in this world or the next. Translation Puppet Cooked food left sitting for three hours is called Yatayama, indicating that it has lost its taste. And similarly, if a devotee does not remain fixed in Krishna consciousness, the transcendental knowledge that once inspired him on the spiritual path will lose his taste or meaning for him. The Sandipani Muni blesses his disciple that the Vedic mantras which reveal the absolute truth will never lose their meaning for them but will remain ever fresh in their minds. Bhagavan <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So again, I am very, very happy to be with the devotees of Ujjain. Ujjain devotees are very special. You know why? Bhakti Chara Swami is very special. Anybody is with Bhakti Chara Swami means they are blessed. He is not an ordinary devotee. He is very, very exalted. So I'm so happy to be with all of you. And I know what you're all going through, how painful it is without Maharaj. Without Maharaj Ujjain Temple, must be going through a lot of pain, all the devotees. But still, as the verse says here, there's no difference between Guru's Vapu and Vani. Guru's Vani is more powerful than his Vapu his body. So one is very powerful. As long as you are following the instructions of your Guru Maharaj, Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj, 
then Maharaj is with you all. Maharaj is with us. Prabhupada said this. As long as you follow my instructions, I am with you. I will never leave you and you will never leave me. This is a secret. So one is more important than Vapu. Vapu Seva, we get body, serving the body is wonderful. Amazing, it's very wonderful chance it is. But when the Guru's body is not there, it's Vani, it's sound vibrations, it's instructions, it's lectures, it's books are equally potent. Or we can say more potent than Vapu. So that is the, because these three verses selected, it talks about Guru. Guru Tattva. Sandipina Muni is so happy with Krishna and Balaram. Very, very happy. Because Krishna and Kuchala went away to collect the Samhita, wood. Due to heavy rains, they could not come back. Then Sandipina Muni went in search of them and finally finds them. Krishna and Sudama. The whole night they were on the trees. It was pouring heavily. But Lord, Supreme Lord was there on the tree. Why? To serve this Guru. Lord is setting an example. Lord Krishna is setting an example. And his exalted devotee, Sudama, a Brahmana, is also setting an example. How a disciple should serve the spiritual master. Which is very, very important. As Sandipiri Muni says here, I am totally satisfied with you. That is a certificate from Guru we should get. When we get the certificate from Guru, I am satisfied with you. I am totally pleased with you. Then it is a certificate from Krishna. Our life is successful. We can go back to God's hands. So, we got to simply follow his instructions. That's all. And there's no difference between Guru and Krishna. That's the mood a disciple should have. Yesya Deva Parabhakti Ita Deva Tata Guru Tassaita Kadita Arta Prakashanti Mahatma A devotee who treats his Guru as good as Lord Krishna Tassaita Kadita Arta all his anarthas are gone. Prakashante, his heart gets enlightened. Prakashante, Mahatmana, he is a Mahatma. The person who follows the instructions of his Guru, thinking that he is as powerful as Krishna himself, he is a Mahatma. Very easy, right? Shla Prabhupada says, if you are not a pure, pure devotee, okay, no problem. But as long as we follow a pure devotee, we are pure devotees. As long as we follow the instructions of a pure devotee, we are pure devotees. That's all. I am not a pure devotee, but I follow the instructions of a pure devotee, then I am pure devotee. That's all. When we follow the pure devotee of the Lord, Guru, what happens? Srimad Bhagavatam says, Sadrishino, he I am loke. Panta. Panta kshema akutabaya. Sushila sadhava yatra narayana parayana. What is the best way to lead our lives in this world? This world is known as tamasic world. This world is full of problems. This world is full of challenges. This world is dukkalaya. This world is temporary. Dukkalim Ashashutam. Natmati Mahatmanaha. Samsiddhim Paramangataha. But when you follow the instructions of pure devotee, as the Lord wanted, Samsiddhi, we make our lives perfect. And the Lord says, again, they will not come back to this miserable, temporary world. They will not come back. Why? Some say they, they become perfect in their spiritual lives. They have realized, I am not the body, I am a spirit soul, I am a Krishna Dasa. So, if you want to make our life very successful, the right path to walk in this world, Sadhguru, you know, I am loke in this world. Panta, what is the path? The path which leads to 
safety akutabaya ha there's no fear shame very auspicious life one can lead how to lead sushila sadhava yatra follow a sadhu sushila was all wonderful qualities simple hearted with beautiful qualities why would you follow this person sushila sadhava yatra because he is following narayana parayana ha huh? is always conscious of narayana nothing else in his life nothing else except narayana so we got to follow his footsteps how utsa enthusiastically dhairya with full confidence that is the way utsa nishya dhairya full confidence and patience tat tat karma pravartana whatever the guru has told i'll do that what is that shravanam kirtanam vishnu sparanam पाद सेवन अर्चन वंदन दास्यम साख्यम आत्म निवेदन पुंसा विष्णु भक्ति नवरक्षण क्रेते भगवत्यम प्रहलाद our life is very auspicious bhaya but no akut akut bhaya no fear this world is full of anxiety full of fear what's going to happen next we all know that what's happening at present in the world covid 19 how it is hammering the whole world smashing everybody everybody has been humbled every one of us been humbled all the divik aklesha of the law when we break the rules given by the law lord has given the rules and regulations for us in bhagavad gita and the same lord came here and gave a demonstration as chaitanya mahaprabhu how to lead a life good life he took initiation from ishwar puri like lord krishna took initiation from sandipan muni lord ramachandra took initiation from vashishta muni setting an example lord himself comes and sets an example how to lead a good life so guru was so pleased with krishna and sudama and balram ji why they simply followed the instructions what is the blessing they got whatever you learn vedic mantras which is very very auspicious you will never forget you will never forget Krishna, of course, is the supreme Lord. He is our compiler of the Vedanta Sutras. But still, he got the blessings from his Guru. That is the way we should go. Get the blessings from our Guru. Very, very important. So, I'll touch some past times of South India. Maybe you're from North India. I'll tell you one or two past times from South India. You will like it. And we are going to pay based on Guru Tattva. Am I clear, Prabhu? Am I clear, or my voice is too? Am, am I too fast? Am I too fast? We are on the same page. Am I clear? Yes, Prabhu. Thank you. Yes. So, you heard of Raghavendra Swami? I come from Madhya Sampradaya. is prahlad maharaj he has a beautiful temple is samadhi in mantralaya in andhra pradesh very amazing devotee you today thousands of people go to mantralaya and take their blessings always like tirumala tirupati like the people go there also very famous but in iskon nobody knows very few people they know those who belong to karnataka and andhra pradesh others they don't know much So Raghavendra Swami was a young man. He was very poor, very very poor. He was a Brahmana. He used to educate few students, get some rice from the students, few other items, and cook and eat. He, his wife, and one son, four years old boy. Very poverty-stricken life. And the students they don't bring anything. He can't eat. 
Ani juga rasa. Mari hari guru. Itaon, Monday itaon. He told his wife, I think I should go and meet my guru and tell him my problems. Daridra, so much I'm suffering. You know, there's no food to eat, no facilities at all. That my guru blesses. Or he may give me some money also. My guru is an asthana pandit to the king. So he may bless me with some aishwarya that I can manage my wife and child and lead a decent life. So in that mood, he travels. From his place, he walks and he walks and walks and goes to guru's ashram. And he offers dandavas. The Guru was very happy to see him. He inquires, how is everything? Okay. He says, yes, Guru Maharaj, everything is okay. Everything is fine, Guru Maharaj. But I'm too much of uh, suffering. Why? Poverty. There's no money at all. I guess a meager amount just to maintain the family, hand to mouth. Guru Maharaj, you got to help me. Then, Guru smiles at him and says, I want to help you. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. You know how I'm going to help you? You have to give up your wife and child and take sannyas. Guru Maharaj, I'm telling you to take sannyas. I become very old. I'm going to leave my body anytime. If you take sannyas, I'll make it a Pita Adipati. Mahant will become. You should continue preaching. Guru Maharaj, I've got a wife and child, young wife. And boy is just four years old. How I can give up? I'm telling you, you should give up your wife and your son. Renounce it and come and join me. You will be the Pita Adipati. The Raghavandra Swami, he gets disturbed. I thought, Guru Maharaj, you know all the Shastras. You know the conclusion of all the Shastras. But I never expected you will give me this kind of instruction. So hard it is. How we can see this? Just my young wife, just in her late twenties, and boys four years, totally depending on me. And how we can say that? So cruel it is. Give up everything and they'll die, Guru Maharaj. No, this is my instruction. If you want to follow, you can follow. Others I'll leave it to you. Then he starts crying. He will offer his dandabas to his Guru Maharaj and says, I will not see you again, Guru Maharaj. Forgive me. I will not see you again. He will walk away. Very disturbed. Traveling again, walking back. He comes to his hometown. He misses his wife. Sees the child. Tears rolling from his eyes. Wife will ask, what happened? You met a Guru? Yeah, I met this. I met him. He gave the blessings. He gave the blessings. But he'll not tell his wife. He gave the blessings. Then everything will be okay. Everything will be okay, my dear husband. Yes, everything will be okay. So that night he sleeps. In the sleep, he gets a dream. The dream, he sees an old lady. And she is crying continuously. So Raghavendra Swami will ask, My dear mother, why are you crying? My son cheated me. How a son can cheat the mother? But it happened. My son cheated me. How is that? Yeah, he's not caring for me. He cares a damn for me. Who is your son? Mother, who is your son? I'll talk to him. The old lady says, you are my son. What? I don't know you. I don't know you. How you can claim that I'm your son? What is this? Yes, you are my son. How? Then she, the old lady turns herself into Mother Saraswati Devi with the veena. And she says, you are my son. I gave you the knowledge. 
and the Lord wanted you to become a Christian. And Lord spoke through Guru and you declined it. You never listened to your Guru. Rather, you became very angry. So you are cheating me. I gave the knowledge. The knowledge I want you to give to a whole world. But what are you doing? You just what you are stuck to only your wife and your son, only your family, small family, not seeing the world as a big family. You know, I don't have that concept. So I'm very sad. Then he offers his obeisances to Mother Saraswati Devi. Mother, what I should do? If you want to please the Lord, if you want to please your Guru, if you want to please me, as your Guru said, give up your family and become Pita Dapati as your Guru Maharaj instruction. He says, yes, I will. Mother, I will. Next day morning he gets up. Morning, takes his bath. He finishes morning duties. All the puja, everything. Then he's hauling some prasadam. His wife is sitting next to him. She's serving. Then ask his wife. My dear wife, how do you like if I become a Pita Adipati? Pita Adipati, guru for the whole world. And she says, my dear husband, that's the most fortunate thing. Wonderful. So great. It's not an easy thing. It's the Lord's desire. We become a Pita Adipati. So wonderful. So great. Then he says to his wife, thank you very much. And I'm going to Pita Adipati. And I'm going to take, take sannyasa. And I'm going away. Then she starts crying. Oh, no, 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 no. I just said it. No, no, no. We can leave me and go. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, please. Starts crying. How you can leave me? How you can leave the child? He says, you said it. It's the most fortunate thing in this world. So I am going away. Hey, okay, thank you so much. We'll just take a small bag, one or two clothes, and start walking. Wife runs behind, crying, crying, crying. Do not look back. He's walking. That's it. You know what happens? Wife jumps into the well. She commits suicide. The child taken care by family members. Raghavendra Swami meets his guru, he becomes Pitadipati. He's sitting on the asana. His guru retires. The one day, this is the beauty. One day, he's writing commentaries on the scriptures. In the night, he's just studying the scriptures and writing some commentaries. That time, his wife comes near the door in the ghost body. Now she got the ghost body. She comes near the door and standing there. So Raghavendra Swami is writing the scripture and looks at her. Oh, you have come? Then she says, I have come. I got a ghost body. I am wandering. And I come here to see you. Get your blessings. His wife. In the ghost world. The Raghavendra Swami smiles. He takes a little water in his hand, holy water, and says, As a young woman, you sacrifice a lot. So, you as a jiva, you have taken many, many births. But since you did the sacrifice for me, and for my Guru, and for the Supreme Lord, I am going to liberate you now. He takes the water, chants the Lord's name, and sprinkles Prakshana on her. That's it. She gets a beautiful transcendental body. Immediately Vimana comes, she sits in the Vimana and goes back to God. Otherwise, she would have taken many, many births and struggled in this world. So, the moment we follow the Guru's instructions, the Jiva, the disciple, and the, all the family members are benefited. They are all benefited. So this is very, very important. What to follow? How we got to follow the instructions? As Lord Krishna says, Tad vidhi pranipatena Pariprashnena sevaya Upadakshantate jnanam Jnaninas tatandashinam You approach a bona fide spiritual master. Not anybody. 
born a fine spiritual master who has the parampara and is highly exemplary. Approach him. How will you approach? Pranipatena, humility, submissiveness. Without humility, without submissiveness, there is no spiritual life. No spiritual life at all. We are not practicing. Spiritual life is humility. Humility. Without humility, there is no spiritual life. There is pranipatena. With humility, we have got to ask questions. Guru Maharaj, I don't understand this. Oh Sadhu, I don't understand this. Then they'll give the instructions. Pranipatena, Pariprashnena, Sevaya. Then do service as per his instruction, as Guru wanted, not according to my mind. The mind comes into the picture, the mind becomes the Guru. Mind was Guru for many, many births. What this mind is doing? Giving you new bodies. One more body, one more body, one more body. This mind, if we accept him as a Guru, we keep on changing the bodies in this metal world. But if you take a bona fide spiritual master who is in the parampara, then he liberate from this bodily concept of life by following his instructions. This is needed. Pranipatena, Pariprashnena, Sevaya. Tadvedi Pranipatena, Pariprashnena, Sevaya. Upadakshantate, Jnanam, Jnaninas, Tattva Darshinaha. They will give Tattva Darshinaha. What is this Krishna consciousness? Tattva. What is Krishna Tattva? What is Gaura Tattva? You will understand. What is Guru Tattva? All the knowledge is poured into the heart. Prakashante Mahatma. Why? Yashadeva Paramakti. Yashadeva Paramakti. This is Guru and Krishna as one and the same. Same respect one has. Missing every day. Sakshadaritana Samastha Shastra. All the Shastras say so. There is no difference between Guru and Gurus and Law. The moment we follow this, everything is wonderful. Everything is wonderful. And also Madhvacharya says, what Madhvacharya says, Hari Munidare, Hari Muligare, Harakayovan. When Hari is upset with us, Hara, Lord Shiva will protect you. Hari Munidare, Harakayova. When Hari is upset with you, Krishna is upset with you, Shiva will protect you. Lord Shiva will protect you. Hara Munidare, Harikayova. When Lord Shiva is upset with you, Hari, he will protect you. Hari Hara, Ibbara Munidare, Guru Kayova. When Hari and Hara, or Krishna and Shiva, both are upset, Guru will protect you. Guru Munidare Kayo Yaru. When Guru is upset with you, who will protect you? Hari or Hara, nobody has, has the courage to come there. The person who disregards the instructions of the spiritual master, oh, Hari will not come, Hara will not come. You know my point? I'll repeat it. It's a beautiful verse. Hari Munidare, Hara Kayuva. Hara Munidare, Hari Kayuva. Hari Hari Hara, Ibra Munidare, Guru Kayuva. Guru Munidare, Kayuva, Guru Yahu. Hari is upset, Shiva is there. When Shiva is upset, Hari is there. When Hari and Hara, Shiva, both are upset, Guru is there. When Guru is there, upset, nobody is there. That is the power of Guru Tattva. That's the reason the Lord comes here as a disciple, Sandipanamuni. My Lord is a Guru, he is Jagat Guru. But setting an example, setting a good example for us to follow. So, Pranipatena, humility. Do you God's way Agna? Different devotees were allotted different services. When Yudhishthira Maharaj performed Raja Surya Yajna, different services. 
Now you dish the Maharaj was the Yajamala. And Bhima was the kitchen in charge. Karna was in charge for charity. Arjuna was in charge for a few things. Like all were given. Duryodhana was in charge to receive the guests. So different uh, Kauravas and Pandavas were given different services. You know what service Krishna took? To wash the feet of the sadhus and rishis. Bring them, he'll wash their feet, make them sit down. And we imagine Supreme Lord, cause of all causes, washing the feet of a sadhu. Lord loves it. Lord loves to do that. And, and he's setting an example for us. You should be like me. If you want to be my association, you should be like me. If you want to come to Goloka Vrindavana, this is the way you should be. Humble. Trunarapi Sunishena. Humility. Tararapi Saishnana. Lot of patience. Mahaprabhu exhibited that. So this is very important. Very, very important. Once is a Puranic story. A student joins the Gurukul. Gurukul means 12 years education for graduation. After 12 years of study, what Guru teaches first? Humility. He will not teach you Vedas. No mantras, nothing. Just watch the ashrama. Keep cleaning, 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 cleaning. Keep on cleaning. Washing the clothes. Washing the pots. When Guru thinks is okay, is learning humility, then promotion. What is that? Go and bring wood. Go and bring wood from the forest. When he brings the wood, after some time Guru sees, he is doing his service very nicely and he is very humble. Then he will teach. He will teach. There is a problem in Islam. We are not humble. We get the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam. We get puffed up. Including me. We get puffed up. We don't behave properly. That's why initiation is not given that easily. Without humility, we take initiation. What happens? We ruin ourselves. Prabhupada is to keep everybody very humble. One Prabhupada disciple says, in America, Vishla Prabhupada was there. A few devotees brought rosewood oil, very special oil, a bottle of rosewood oil. Prabhupada, we got this rosewood oil, very special. One of the best kind. Prabhupada took the bottle, he opened, this is this kind of bottle. He opened the bottle, he poured the whole oil into his hands and put his head in the stand massage. Dude is a shock. Entire oil put on his head in the stand massage. And he smelled it. And he told, in Calcutta, you get better oil than this. Now all the devotees were humble. <laughs> So, Prabhupada, so the Prabhupada disciple explains, Prabhupada always used to keep us humble. You get puffed up, we lose our Krishna conscious. I get puffed up, I lose my jewels, Krishna conscious jewels. Humble, all the jewels are with me. I would like to lose my jewels, being getting puffed up or pride. Enough, enough. I suffered in so many births. This time, by Lord's mercy, I got a guru. I got the Vaishnavas Association. Can I lose it? No, no, no. So, like this. So, this boy was studying in Gurukul. He was humble, trained nicely. Then, Guru started teaching him all the Vedas, the Vedic mantras. 12 years he completed. Then there is an examination. Guru will ask the questions and disciples should tell. That day he goes to his Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj, today is my examination. Guru says, I know that. I know that. But today I am too busy. So I cannot give you a personal test. You do one thing. Anuvakya prayers of the Vedas. 
just go to the backyard. Gurukul backyard is a big tree. People tree, Ashwatha. People tree is a big tree is there. You just go stand in front of the tree and chant the Anuvakya prayers. And after chanting, some leaves will fall down. You pick up those leaves and come to me. I'll count the leaves. So many mistakes you have done. If you have committed five mistakes, five leaves will fall down. If you have committed a hundred mistakes, hundred mis leaves will fall down. If you commit no mistake, no leaf will fall down. Okay? Do that. And see me in the evening. And the disciple went to the backyard of the ashram. He saw the huge tree, people's tree. Ashwatha Guruksha. He stood in front of it and started chanting. Before chanting, he prayed to Lord Ganeshi. In front of the tree, he chanted the mantras and started chanting Anuvaka. About to start the Anuvaka prayers, all the leaves fell down. Not in one leaf on the tree. He was shocked. What happened? What happened? Even I never completed. I had to start Anuvaka prayers. And all the leaves fell down. He was so scared. He will collect all the leaves. A big pile. And he goes to his Guru Maharaj in the evening and puts the pile in front of Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj, I just started chanting. I did all the prayers. Now all the leaves fell down. Yet to start the Anuvakya prayers. Then Guru says, Oh, can you tell me the prayers you chanted? He said, I chanted the Ganeshi prayers. I chanted Saraswati Day prayers. Then did you chant Guru prayer? No. You lost it. First you got to chant Guru Mantra. Oma Jnana Tamandasya Dhyana Ajana Chalakaya Chakshur Unmil Tamena Tasnaya Shi Guru Vena Maha. Then we start with that. So what happened? Sorry Guru Maharaj, sorry Guru the next day, he went, he chanted Guru's prayers. 
Then he chanted Anuvakya prayers. Not in, not in a single leaf fell down. Then he came and told Guru Maharaj, no leaf fell down. So you have passed. Congratulations, you have passed. Good. So like the, the Guru's instruction is so important. Very, very important. Sadhishno hi ayam loke pantak shema akutabaya. Sushila sadhavayatra narayana parayana. Always you should follow in the footsteps of great devotees, sadhus. But always Krishna conscious. Then our life is very safe and auspicious. Life is very safe and auspicious and akutabaya. No fear. No fear. So I'll stop here. I can take one or two questions from your side and I can speak. I can try to answer. Any questions or comments are welcome. Hare Krishna, Raji. Uh, I have one question like uh, you mentioned in the beginning that uh, pleasing a spiritual master or when the spiritual master says that uh, I am clean, I am satisfied, that is certificate for going back to God. But sometimes we see that spiritual master says things inspired by God. So, uh, yeah, last line I couldn't catch up. Okay. So I was telling like um, you mentioned that how uh, pleasing a spiritual master or uh, when the spiritual master says I am pleased, that is a certificate from Guru to go back to Godhead. So my question is sometimes uh, spiritual master says things to inspire disciples. Even the disciple is committing so many mistakes. So how to understand whether a disciple is truly able to please his spiritual master or not? You can unmute first. Guru, to inspire us, sometimes he'll chastise, sometimes he'll not chastise. But in the heart of hearts, we know where I stand. So we should be very careful. Oh my God. Yeah, you are connected. Okay. Sorry, this morning, you know, some uh, disturbances, yeah, power failing and coming, you know. So, you know, a guru is praising me, it's only his mercy. A Madhyama knows. Kanishta will never know. Kanishta Adhikari will never know. But Madhyama Adhikari knows. Oh, guru. He knows when he will understand when Guru is praising me, when his Guru is chastising me, when he is giving me the instructions. He knows. But Kanishta? No, he cannot understand. So we should be very careful. Our trace, we should come to the platform of Madhyama. Till Kanishta, Prabhupada said, Neophyte. Always fights. As long as I am fighting, I am a neophyte. We should come out from the fighting mentality. A devotee will never quarrel. There can be problems, but he'll not fight. Because he has faith in Guru and Krishna. They'll take care. He'll never fight. But fighting spirit, Prabhupada said, neophyte fights. Fighting means he's neophyte. So we should be very careful. So spiritual maturity, spiritual wisdom is very important. Whether my Guru is chastising me or really glorifying. He is glorifying me, that is Kripa, is mercy. Though I am not qualified, he is glorifying me. I am not qualified, still is glorifying me, he is chastising me. I should be very careful. I should be very careful. Like one devotee went to Prabhupada. Prabhupada in the temple, there are so many problems. What problems? Prabhupada, that devotee is like this, this devotee is like this, so many problems, oh my god, too many problems. So I'm going to leave this temple and go. Prabhupada said, you are the biggest problem. Prabhupada, what I have done? You are the big problem. You are saying that problem, this problem, so many problems. 
what are you doing? When you come with a problem to me, you should come with a solution. You come to me and say there's a problem, problem, without solution, you have the big problem for me. Prabhupada chastised him. And he learned his lesson. That's, that's Kripa. Guru's blessings, Guru glorifies the disciples, chastises the disciple, is blessing. Either way, it's a blessing. Okay? Thank you. Any other question? Yes, uh, Prabhupada, there is another question. Yeah, please. Uh, how to not get puffed by, puffed up by acquiring knowledge of Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita? Very good question. Knowledge without bhakti is a scholar. Is a three modes. We should get the knowledge to come out from the three modes. Then you can be in bhakti. He's got knowledge in three modes. What is use? Vedas, Vedic Pandits, they have the knowledge. But they are caught up in the modes. Trigonya Vishya Veda. This Trigonya Bhava Arjana. Just reading the Vedas, Arjuna, one is bound by the three modes. This Trigonya Bhava Arjana, raise about that. Nirdhanda, it will become from duality, free, free from duality. Nirdhanda, it will start so, then you get yoga, kshema, atma, va. So, we have the three modes, means I am not conquering my mind. My mind is Guru. I may speak wonderful lectures. Great lectures I can give, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, Chaitanya, 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 I can give. But whether I have conquered my mind, or am I trying to conquer the mind? Still, I see a beautiful woman, I get allure. When I see money, let me take the money, how I can make more money. As long as I am allured by a woman, a beautiful lady, hankering for money, hankering for me, we should understand, mind is my guru. Mind is my guru. So when I take the spiritual master instructions very seriously, Sadhu's instructions very seriously, Shastra's instructions very seriously and follow it very carefully, then the mind can be subdued. That knowledge will help us. That knowledge will help us. So it's a gradual progress. It will not happen in a few days or a few months. It's a gradual progress. It will take a lot of time. I want us to work on it very seriously. Just to work on it. Okay? Hare Krishna, bro. Thank you very much. These were a few questions by and devotees. And we are very grateful for your wonderful association and inspiring class. You share like how the Vani is more powerful than Bapu. And as long as we follow the instruction of a pure devotee, we are pure. You told, told about the certificate from the spiritual master when he says he is pleased. It, through the stories, you try to establish that how the shelter of a spiritual master is so powerful. Only the spiritual master is the shelter. Even the Hari and Hara, they cannot protect when the spiritual master is offended. And at last, you mentioned about that, how one should accept the instructions from the bona fide spiritual master, else one will accept mind as his guru. And he will, um, accepting the spiritual master will liberate when, but when somebody takes the shelter of the mind, he the bondage will increase. And you answered the questions very well. So thank you very much, Prabhuji, for your kind association. And uh, we look forward to hear from you in the evening session as well. So, thank you very so much. So, evening session, I should talk about Bhakti Chal Swami, right? Yes, you can share memories with uh, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, my pleasure. It's my pleasure. So, thank you so much for this opportunity given to discuss on Guru Tattva from Bhagavatam. Very kind of you. For the recognition. Hare Krishna.
ఇస్కాన్ god brothers of guru maharaj about their memories with him at 5 we'll have chandra sekhar prabhu 5:30 his grace devkinandan prabhu 6 his grace dinabandhu prabhu then panch ratna prabhu his holiness subhak swami maharaj and then his grace narishwar prabhu and at last his grace arivati raman prabhu will share their memories with his holiness bhakti chaur swami guru maharaj and all these sessions are on zoom you can attend on zoom you can uh, hear the hindi translation the link is here bengali translation you can hear you can watch english on facebook as well so we we'll look forward for you all in the evening session as well thank you very much for joining jai shri shrimad bhakti chaur swami tirbhav mahotsav ki jai శ్రీశ్రీమద్ భక్తి జర స్వామి గురు మహారాజ్ కి జయ శ్రీ ప్రభాత్ కి జయ గౌర్ ప్రేమానందే హరి హరి హరి